Hi folks, I am back. Took me a couple of months, unfortunately, but I resolved my YouTube issue. Uh, for those of you reading the blog, you're aware of this, but for those of you who haven't been on, check out, you know, be sure to check out nyccnc.com. But I had a credential issue with my YouTube account and I was not able to log into it. Um, but like I said, that's behind us, so let's catch up on some things. Wanted to show you today uh, the first ever true fixture that I've made. This is uh, for a, an aluminum part, which I will show you later. Um, but first I want to talk a little bit about the fixture itself. It's made of aluminum and I, uh, some people would say, well that's silly, you should make it out of something more uh, sturdy like a piece of steel or mild steel. And you know, they're right, but uh, it was much easier for me to, to mill the aluminum. And you know, this is just sort of an experiment and I'm not going to use this so much that I'll, I'll wear it out. So fine for me. Um, the key thing about this is the eight uh, I think they're called toe clamps. Um, Mighty Bite is a very popular brand. I think that's spelled M-I-T-E-E-B-I-T-E. -E -E. However, these were um, some that I purchased from um, Enco. They are made by the folks at uh, Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Um, this specific one, actually, let me just pull it up on the Enco. All right, here you can see it up on the website. Um, they are model number 3282173. They're not cheap. These were $50 for 10 of them. I'm using 8 in this fixture. Um, and even though the item here says 3 8 by 16, the actual thread size is quarter by 20 that I'm using. They have a maximum holding force of 800 pounds, which is plenty for what I'm doing, and they have a throw distance of 40 thou. The actual hex clamp in this uh, in this size is 5 8 inch uh, in diameter and the way these work is if you notice at this um, what appears to be sort of a hybrid socket head cap screw it's got a ground edge and if you look closely oops, you'll see that the hex hole is not centered or rather that the actual edge that's ground is oblong and so the way these work is when they are inside the clamp and you rotate it probably a little hard to see this way but they basically pivot around you'll be able to see it let me zoom in on uh, so I've actually just slid a piece of stock in here and as you'll see as you rotate the clamp it, it compresses against the edge so how did I make this fixture well, it actually was pretty simple. Um, I knew I was working with half inch. Uh, this is just half inch aluminum bar stock. And when you purchase these, you get a um, little p tag on the box and it shows when you purchase or working with the quarter by 20 thread size, the distance from the edge of the workpiece is 0 0.308. So all that I had to do was take um, the distance of the works piece, which is um, half an inch and then add to it 0 0.308 so quite simply the distance between the edge here and the center of this threaded hole is 0 0.808 inches so I simply milled a pocket away with sufficient material leaving a, just a tiny bit of clearance on the right side and then put a hole in uh, 0 0.808 inches over the um, vertical alignment or top to bottom and the sort of the y-axis wasn't super critical and actually just to further clarify you drill the hole at 0 .808 over um, then you tap it for quarter 20 then you take the full size drill bit in other words a quarter inch drill bit obviously when you're tapping when you're drilling just a tap you use an undersized in this instance it's a number seven but then you would take a quarter inch drill bit and drill 0 .06 inches deep that's a look for clearance and then you simply thread the fastener through the clamp and thread it into the hole. So the reason I made this fixture is to make a part very similar to this right here. And the way this fixture helps me is it allows me to take rough cut stock so I can just rip this in my bandsaw without being super precise. Then what you do is I would clamp it just, you know, just by eye approximately like so. And then my cam will then come and it will 
correctly mill the bottom edge and then profile the tops so that now all this now I've got the correct length of the overall part and then it will drill the first hole then it will drill the second hole then if you notice in this part there's actually a clearance um, outside the threads I'll then handle the threading outside of my mill since my tag cannot do that but uh, you get the gist obviously what this allows me to do is put eight pieces of rough stock in here make eight at once and then load up eight more quite quick a way to make a part like this um, a better way to make this fixture would be with a better type of dowel pins to align it on your table of your mill or something so that you could just drop the fixture in home your mill and hit go I'll have to actually square up my um, my fixture on my mill bed and then indicate a zero point to coordinate to the cam software but for me that's no big deal um, that's all for now folks but uh, stay tuned for more thanks